everyone, just a really quick overview on how to submit to BCPHR. If you haven't done so already, you're going to go to our author hub and you also want to start right here at the calls for submissions. Now you are not required to prepare your manuscript with a call for submission or a special edition in mind. However, it might help you direct your research and your writing of your manuscript if you do know where you want your article to appear. Now that said, we do hold the right to put an article in an edition based on our assessment. The other thing we want you to know is you do not need to prepare your article with an edition in mind. We do on occasion produce um, general interest editions and some, um, release those and there's always a possibility that we could produce an edition around your piece if it's very um, unique or indicative um, of something that we should explore in its own edition. So once you have decided uh, where you want to submit or not to submit, your article simply needs to be about a public health issue from um, the vantage of health equity and social justice. And once you are in the process of preparing your manuscript, you are going to want to select a template um, I cannot stress this enough. You will be desk rejected if you do not use our templates. Um, you're going to want to follow the guidelines within the templates to the letter. If you do, I cannot imagine that you would experience desk rejection and it will really um, take you that much farther into um, ensuring that you go through peer review and are published seamlessly and as quickly as possible. We also want you, you can't stress this enough, to be sure to go through our um, editorial policies. We do have a number of updates um, that we have implemented in recent months. This includes a zero tolerance policy around AI generated material. We require a declaration of authorship contributions. We also want folks to talk about their positionality. Um, and then we also have information clearly delineated here about our article processing fees um, and other fees. So please make sure before you submit to review all of that and ensure that your piece um, aligns with our requirements. Once you are prepared, you can come over um, and then go to our Scholastica portal, which is available here and do the upload of your article and just really quickly giving you an idea um, if you come to this page which is submitting manuscripts on Scholastica um, you will be walked through here on what it will look like um, basically right here at the start you're going to be asked for um, the name of your piece you're going to enter in your author name you also are then going to um, add an abstract and keywords for your piece. You're going to add in the corresponding author information. Often that will be you as the person submitting this. And you want to also include, um, we really do recommend this, all of this um, related information, your ORCID ID, um, and add that for each of the authors on your manuscript. If you are accepted for publication, this will expedite things dramatically. You're then going to want to upload your manuscript files. You're asked for the primary manuscript file. You are asked for the biographies. These biographies are requested in the template and they're also requested here separately. This just helps us with the layout process in the event that you are accepted. We also have a piece here for graphs and images. I highly recommend that you upload these um, with your primary manuscript and also have them uploaded here separately. We also have a place for any video and audio that you wish to add and any kind of additional files as well. You also are allowed to add um, potential reviewers. Um, we do have a large reviewer database from which we draw 
but if you wish to have someone in, if you have someone in mind that you think would be a really good um, sounding board for your piece, um, please suggest them here. We just say that you cannot suggest someone who had anything to do with the production of your manuscript. Um, it's highly unethical if, if you do. Um, we also ask for any information about funding sources. And then we have a series of affirmations. Please be sure that you read through all of these affirmations and attestations directly and then say that you agree with them. Um, don't just blanket agree just to get through the process. There's a lot of information here in regard to the manuscript and what you are agreeing to. So um, in particular, we have, inf we have here um, affirmations about um, using the correct um, AMA guidelines um, in terms of ethics, in terms of um, article processing fees, um, and that you are not submitting this elsewhere for consideration. Once you are done, you're going to confirm and then submit your piece. So that's all there is. It's a very simple process. However, um, the more preparation that you do and the more you review our guidelines and um, the more you uh, make sure you cross all the T's and dot all the I's, the easier this process will be. Thank you very much.